Hello there, and thank you for joining me once again. I know it's been a long time since I've had a video out, but uh, I decided to give her another go and upload another video. I had someone that's very special to me ask me to give it a give it another go, so I'm gonna do this one for you today. And uh, it's just a very simple dry fly pattern. I simply call it the uh, pheasant tail dry. It's a pattern I made up myself and it's definitely a fish catcher so I'll get this guy a device here a fresh hook in and I'll get going for you I'm using a size 10 regular must head 94840 dry time on a 10 here so it's a little easier to see get him locked in the vise here okay and the thread of choice today I'm using Danville Flymaster 6 odd in a brown so you want to start your thread here. We're going to start at a few eye lengths behind the eye and just put a thread base down. We're going to wrap back here just about to in front of the barb. Then we'll snip off our tag end. Now I'm just going to grab about probably 10 to 12 pheasant tail fibers here off the of pheasant tail. Just going to pull those off. Okay. Yeah. This is going to give us our tail and our body on the fly so I'll measure that tail up about the hook shank length and bring it back and tie it on top with a pinch wrap just like so nice and snug then I'll come forward a couple wraps and I'm going to fold that the rest of that pheasant tail fibers back with a couple wraps just in front of the tail and just let those rest there then I'm going to wrap forward to where we start our thread once again stop there and the rib is simply uh, some small UTC copper wire and small and I'm going to catch that in on the far side <coughs> just like so and we'll wrap this guy but secure him down back to in front of our tail just like so here then we'll wrap our thread forward once again and stop in the same spot once again where we started our thread okay it's a simple pattern to tie for sure now we'll just take our pheasant tail fibers and begin to wrap those for the body just like so here and this can be a little tricky because most times you'll come up short you don't get a lot of length to work with but what I do is just wrap it around and hold it with my other finger here on my left hand as I'm wrapping that way it won't want to unwind on me and I'll try to get one more wrap around just like so then we'll tie this guy off a couple wraps to lock secure him in there and I'm gonna wrap forward and back locking that in nice and tight and we'll snip that excess off there nice and close and I'm going to wrap down over that so I get a smooth base. Okay. Next we'll bring our rib. We'll counter wrap that rib. We'll come up around here. And usually four or five wraps is plenty here to secure that pheasant tail fibers down. And we'll wrap our wire off. A couple wraps around. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I always like to fold any tinsel that I'm using, fold it back and lock it in place that way. It won't pull out. And just give it a little helicopter off. And we'll get a little smooth base here for our hackle. And there we have it so far, the tail, body, and rib. Now, for hackle on this guy, I use what's called honey badger. It's a badger hackle. But you, if you don't have honey badger, you can use the light or dark badger. It'll work just as well. I've tied them with that hackle as well. So we'll tie this in here. And just like so. And then we'll secure our stems down, wrap them forward towards the eye. And I'll just take my thumbnail and push up on them there and we'll snip them out. Just watch your thread. There we go. And I'm just make sure I got a nice smooth base to wrap that hackle. That way. It'll wrap on there much better for you. Okay, our last step is to wrap our two hackles. So I'll grab the first guy here and bring him down around. 
And we're just going to make wraps one right in front of the next till we get to our tie off point. So we'll make our first wrap. And we'll just keep wrapping forward here. Just like so. Okay. And sometimes I like to push them fibers back just to make sure they're not in the way as you wrap your next wrap. And we'll tie him off right there. A couple wraps in behind him. And a couple in front to lock him down. Then I'll come in nice and slow with the scissor points here and snip this guy out. And if you got a stray fiber or two, you can get them now. Alrighty. And a couple more wraps. Cure them in good. Okay, there's our first tackle. Now, same deal with the next tackle here. Just grab them here and we're going to bring them down around. And of course, when I wrap the second tackle, I always zigzag it side to side so it doesn't trap too many of your hack fibers down of the first one you wrapped. Just sort of wiggle it back and forth like so. And we'll just bring them down around. Same deal. Just gonna push back the fibers. Okay. And I'll come up the same spot to tie this guy off. Same as the first, a couple wraps behind. Nice and snug. And a couple in front, then we'll come in and snip them out. There we go. And I've got a couple strays there, I'm going to snip them out as well. There we have it. It's a pretty good, you put a pretty good full hackle on this guy, or you can, it's up to you, you can tie him a little sparser if you don't want too thick a hackle, but if you want him to ride a little lower on the surface. And like I say, it's a very simple fly. Now all we got left to do is put a whip finish on this guy, and he's a done deal. Just gonna hold those fibers back. And we're gonna come in and do a whip finish here. Get four or five turns on them. Come down, snug in our thread. Got one little stray fiber there. Now I'll just bring those hackle fibers back into place. And there we have it folks, pheasant tail dry fly. Just a simple little tractor pattern, but like I was saying, it works well. And I'll snip that excess off. And the last step I'll do, like you've seen me doing all my flies, I'll bring in some uh, UV solarized bone dry and just a little drop on the thread wraps around there just to lock those thread wraps in nice and tight. Now just bring in my light. Give it a little zap here. Cure them up real quick. And there we go, he's a done deal. So, now if you have the materials and uh, you want to tie this guy up, I highly recommend you tie a few up and add them to your flies. It's a very simple but effective little dry fly. And I usually tie it, I tie it on a 10 for the video here, but I usually tie it down on the 6, 14, 16s and 18s, smaller sizes. Let's see if I can get a little close up here for you. It's not much to it, but most times the simpler flies are what catches the most fish. So anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me once again. And I'm most likely going to do another video in the future. See how many views I get on this guy here. And I surely appreciate you for what appreciate appreciate y'all for watching and uh and if you haven't seen my videos before and you'd like to subscribe, surely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that a great deal. And throw in a like too if you wish. And until next time, everyone, happy tying out there. 
I'll see you all again soon. And so long for now, folks.